This is where I'm gonna build some stairs today. I was kind of hoping there'd be a, a wall under there, but there's not. And there's nothing against the concrete. So I may have to build at least the walls against the concrete and uh, clean all that area out down there. So this will take all day and I will take you along so that you can be part of the fun. Yeah. <laughs> and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. I've been uh, unloading equipment for the last 20 minutes up and down these stairs. Ah, not something that I'm in shape for right now. And now I have to take that medium sized beast and carry it down those 22 steps down into the basement and hopefully get the electrical power running. So. All right, so it worked out pretty good that I was able to bend the form cleats over and that'll maintain a one inch space. I really didn't want to grind a bunch of this. So I've been here, uh, there you go. I've been cutting, it's, it's what, noon now? I've been cutting a few cuts, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 cuts. Hasn't come off full yet. Built a quick little uh, workstation. I got crap laid out everywhere and uh, platforms going up and then I'll be able to make that solid and put uh, stringers in and hopefully be done before it gets dark but I do have lights oh baby okay so stair diagonals that is the hypotenuse between the tread and riser and so when I calculate that out I make a mark along the board and uh, it just keeps the framing square true in case you're off a little bit you don't creep a different number in there so just use your frame square like normal but then line it up on that step diagonal and that should make it right so I'm gonna cut the top off and then the bottom and go test fit it and then if it works then I'll cut all these notches out because I've done that before cut everything and then it doesn't fit and it's a waste of time so there you go there's what we're building today platforms at four feet Okay, so everything fit. So I cut the stringer out the way it's supposed to be. And then I took it over here. I gotta go up two stories to get some subfloor. And uh, so I sent this temporary piece on here. And then that let me draw the bottom of the stringer when it's pressed up against the wall. So I'm gonna put uh, angled fire blocking in this wall and then fire blocking all the way around the platform in between the studs. And then, uh, trace out this stringer two more times and uh, by then i got to run upstairs first i guess and get that subfloor this is a big house this is a big house on this beautiful lake here in washington state so i gotta go do some exercise and i'll be right back found it ah. yeah so this is uh the second floor There'll be a half floor on top of that wall, and then a third floor above this level. But uh, yeah, this house has got the view. Pretty amazing. And then what I like to do is split that line and then glue the, up the top half of the block and the stud so that I can stick this uh, ledger on. So let me do that and then I'll film what that looks like when it's done. I got the uh, spacing nailer attached and then I glue that and then I put the stringer on it. All right, I'm gonna put that in there. I know it would be exciting to watch me with this uh, ruck on my back and this pack out in my hand go up these stairs but I think 
I'm going to focus on getting this safely up the stairs. Ah, there's 21 more of these. All right. That was checking out the stabilization as I go down 22 steps. Seems pretty good. some uh, kickers. I use usually two by eights, but and I rip them down, but evidently they were gonna use three quarter inch OSB. So we'll have to see. I've already left a gap for the which you have. All right. And there it is. I just wanna show you how spoiled we are up here in the Pacific Northwest. Two by twelve. Two little micro knots and a little piece on the edge. I'm gonna make a stringer of this. This is a heavy one too, so oh, I like it. We grow the trees up here, so we keep the good ones to ourselves. All right, so this one's done. The guys are gonna come back and frame in some walls, and then uh, now I get to go do this other one. And it's gonna be a platform on that end, going up that way. That worked out well. There's the one we're doing today. We finished the one downstairs. We build this platform, use pressure blocks. Go up there and then turn and go up to that half level up there. Okay, one of the things you have to do is anytime you build a platform, you have to put fire blocking in because fire can come up a wall and get up under there. And so this is what this is. This is blocking that's gonna go in. Uh, it's gonna be just a little bit, the bottom of it's gonna be a little bit below the top of this subfloor. So it also acts as a uh, sheetrock nailer, if they so choose. There you go. Okay, fire blocks are in. All right. Now it's off to get the truck. And put all this stuff in the back. Yeah, I like this better. I know there's more cords and stuff, but even though it's a pain. Okay, so I'm digging down to find these two by 12s and then I carry them through the existing garage and lean them out there. And then I guess I'll go down there on that ladder and one by one, get them down there so I can cut them for the stairs that go on that platform right there. So I got those down. I thought I would uh, film it because, you know, whenever you're on a ladder and it's raining and you got boards that want to slide around, there's always that chance for some great comedy. So this is the area. The platform on the left is the bottom and the stairs will be going up to the right. And uh, once they get to the top and they hit that beam that's up there, they'll turn and go up to the little half floor up there to be even with the existing garage floor height. So I don't know if I'll get that far, but at least I'll get this lower part done. And down here, it's kind of custom. They're gonna have two little platforms that have a radius at the end. So that'll be like the fancy framing. Welcome to Seattle, where it drips and rains all the time. <laughs> Just got one on film. So this is what we're building. Um, I like to do stair step diagonals. That's what you see along the edge of the board here. 
that's where it says step diagonal. And all that is, it keeps the uh, framing square true when you're transferring your cutouts. Even though you use stair nuts, I like to keep myself on track because sometimes, like one time I used a big fat Sharpie and it creeped. So by the time I got to the top, I was actually off by more than what code would allow. So this keeps everything tight and I use the thinnest drawing utensil that I have, which has to be a G2 pen. Awesome, Pilot G2, best pens ever. Okay, I gotta take some uh, boards out of my way. Okay, so once you have a pattern that fits correctly, then you transfer that shape onto the next set of raw two by 12s. And what you wanna do is flush the back, which would be the bottom of the stringers on all of them, so that if you have two by 12s that are inconsistent in their depth, like typically they're supposed to be 11 and a quarter, by inch and a half, but sometimes you get 11 and three eighths. Sometimes with pressure treated, you can get them 11 and a half because they get soaked. So if you flush that bottom edge, then as you cut out the notches, it makes everything the same. So that once you put it inside along the bottom edge, it's all in the same plane so that you can apply sheetrock or whatever your code requirements are for finishing out underneath the set of stairs. Okay, I've got one more uh, stringer to trace with my pattern, and then I'm gonna cut all the fire blocking and put it in, and it's only getting a spacing ledger on that far wall, and then the stringer's gonna go flush to the inside of the near wall where that post is. There's the rake wall. I uh, created this for Danny. And then all they had to do was cut it exactly as it's dimensioned. And if you lay it out and nail it together the way it's supposed to, uh, I gotta get a better angle. It's nice and straight and it's the right height the raft the bottom of the rafters will sit at the top of the plate So one of the rules we had was if you ever hand a gun to somebody, you make sure that it's loaded. You know, it's just kind of a common courtesy. You don't hand somebody a tool and then it doesn't function. Kind of inefficient. So let's get this lined up on the line.
Okay, now that we have the spacing ledger in, we return to the glue gun. I'm a super big fan of the Pilot G2, one millimeter. It draws a nice dark permanent line and it's awesome. So when you're gluing on risers, it's always good to leave a little space and then start your glue down in the space and then drag them out because I make my risers pretty much within a 16th or an eighth of what the actual real riser is. These are like, they're supposed to be six and seven eighths. These are probably 13 sixteenths. But uh, anyways, that way you get glue underneath the edge because any place that wood touches wood has the potential to squeak. And nobody likes that. All right, getting there. All right, so all the kickers are in. I got some uh, temporary treads. I don't really care for those. They're uh, one inch OSB. 
but it's gonna all be replaced with three quarter inch hardwood and then a hardwood face on the kicker. So the kickers are glued in and these temporary treads are just gonna be tacked. So they stay, but they don't, not hard to get out. All right, I'm about to put this uh, tread on and I'm gonna put that in there as a time capsule. And then uh, this set of stairs is done. And then I gotta come back and do the little half stairs there. And then over there, there's gonna be a half stairs up, half stairs down. And I think that's it for stairs. Okay, what I gotta do next is create a lower radius and upper radius, but I don't have time to do that right now. So that'll come later, but at least people can get up and down these stairs. There's the first set, goes downstairs into the basement. There's the next set, goes upstairs. It's gonna make a left and go up to that little half floor. And then it's gonna work its way back over here and go back down the same amount over to this area and go up about the same amount to the third floor, which is being framed right now.